Hello all and welcome. I am Hydroxinant, your coach of the Jersey Blue Kingdoms, ha ha ha. And we are facing Mad Mac this week. Mad Mac will bring Azelf, Kill Watchroll, Tingwu, Arcanine, Arcanine Hisui, Tauros, the Water Tauros. Um, and Pheasantipity. Okay. So, our team, we did not bring, um, traditionally, our Sun Core. Uh, we do have an ability to set Sun with Florgus at some point if we do cho choose to. Um, yeah, I kind of decided earlier that I was going to lead Avalug. Um... The issue of leading Avalug of Florgris is that you're really banking that you get the right side. Um, Avalug can't be against anything special, so if they lead anything special, I know I'm screwed. Um, Bazinga is going to be Azelf. So, we do know something that we shouldn't know. Um, the our opponent had an issue with um, Jenning, um, and their Azelf is not what they wish it was. We're just going to get our rocks up here. Um, I think getting hazards up is going to be really important for us this battle. Um, and now, we have to think, are we going to use our Terra now? Or do we want to save super good Terra for later? Um, I think I might just switch in the conch, potentially. That's what we're gonna do. Um, a few like notes for us this battle. I'm gonna do my absolute best to not use Corviknight unless Fezendipity is out. Corv is completely here for Fez. Whoa, that did a lot. That did way more than I thought it would. Not great. I thought that we would eat that better because we're max HP, but man, that hit hard. Okay. We gotta think that they're gonna just stay in and do it again. Um, if they do, I don't know what I do. Um, I don't really have a great matchup. I should have kept Avalog in. Uh, so we're just gonna click, click Drain Punch. Yeah, this wave crash again to get the KO. Um, I just don't have a way of really hurting this thing. Um, who do I bring in? What is your... I'm trying to find its stats real fast. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to bring Avalug back out. It was a mistake switching Avalug in the first place, I think. Um, we are just going to tear our water here, and we're just going to go for Rapid Spin. Um, that's going to be our best bet to do damage, I think. Um, Losing Conk kind of sucks. Um, I wish that wasn't the case. Yeah, we're just Terror Water here. Um, if 
They're gonna wave crash again. You know what I hadn't thought? That this is probably like choice band. Bazinga is the Az Elf. I apologize for that crit. Um, not cool. We're going to recover here. Um, they do go for the explosion. Um, which should do a lot of damage. Yeah. So, as elf dies to explosion. Um, so we don't get the KO there. Um, we're 5-5 five, five now. Part of me thinks I should just rapid spin again to get her speed up. Um, but I do feel like in a situation that I did not know what Azov's moveset is, clicking recover would have been the safest thing. Um, because if they had gone for something special... Losing Conk was really sad. Um, this sh I would think you would switch in Kilowattrol right now. So I don't really have great options for Kilowattrol. I guess Florgris can come in. Um, Dashy is... Yeah, it is Kilowattrol. Could also Defog or something, I think. So we're gonna go Florgris here. Um... Again, I do apologize that our opponent did have issues genning. That is never fun. Um, and we always want to play the most even matchup possible. Um, so that's definitely not fun. But, at the end of the day, I really do want to just play Pokemon. Uh, and we are. Ooh, okay, crit back. I think that's, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So we do not have Protect on this set. We put Sunny Day and Baton Pass to try to find situations where we could, like, wish into something else. The number one misser is Pheasantipity. Okay. I do kind of wish we did have um, Protect now. But, as I said at the beginning, every time we see Pheasantipity, we're going to switch in the Corv Knight. Um, Corv has to stay alive to be my Pheasantipity answer, because without it, I think I have a lot of problems. Um, they're going to U-turn. Okay. So, depending on who this is, we might re-U-turn out. This could be Kill Watchroll. The wish is going to come through, so we're going to be packing full health. It's not that, like, we need it to be that way. Um, I think you switch Kilowattrol back in, because you're just going to be able to ch uh, chip Florgus again. Um, their Kilowattrol was called, like... I don't remember what it was. I'll know the name when I see it. Um, yeah, Taurus is still alive. Um, but um, Avalug is kind of walling Taurus now. At least I think so. Biscuits. I think Biscuits was the Kilowatt Troll, right? No, Biscuits is a different one altogether. It's the Arcanine. The Wish came through. Um... What is Arcanine here to do? 
Arcanine, Hisui, I think, always attacks physically. If I'm correct. I guess it could run special. Couldn't it? It definitely has... Like, 95 special attack's not bad. So... I don't know... I have to keep Corv around. So do we bring in... Like, walk in wake, potentially? Um, to see if we can just shrug off this fire attack. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to predict that this is a fire attack and then switch walk and wake in. Um, I think there's every possibility that this is flamethrower and hitting specially. Oh, I didn't even think of the Oteterra. So this is Fire Rock or Normal. It's Fire. So now I'm inclined to think this really is special. It's Head Smash. No, it's physical. Head Smash just KOs. Okay. I do not have a great counter for you. Um, like, Arcanine is special defense isn't great, so maybe we go Chi Yu here. Um, Yeah, I think I have to switch Walk and Wake in here. Not Walk and Wake. Walk and Wake is very dead. I mean Avalug. Um, I think Avalug. This could be... Kill Watcher will mean existing is hard. If they double switch here in the Kill Watcher, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I would have to go... They're going to get Self Rocks themselves up. Okay. So most likely they switch here. Um, so we can get the Rapid Spin off for free. And this is going to be Kill Walk Troll again. So we should be able to do the tiniest little chip on Kill Walk Troll. No, Otis is the Tauros, who isn't gonna who is gonna intimidate. Um I'm gonna click Mountain Gale here. They go for the CC. Does a decent amount. I think Mountain Gale KOs if it hits. It does hit. Okay. Um. Avalog. KOs. Tauros. That probably is Agalog's first kill this season, if I had to guess. Um. Kill Watchful now, though. Um. Yeah, so we have to go. Yeah, it has to be Florgus here. Um, they. I don't know what a non crit Thunderbolt does. Um, okay. 
Not like a crazy ton. Um, again, I think we click Wish. So now we should be able to get the Wish off on Florgus and get HP back. Um, they're trying to break Florgus maybe with um, the Thunderbolt. So we're going to go for a Moonblast now, but this is going to be into Biscuits, which was... Yeah, so this is not going to do a lot of damage. I don't think this thing can switch in again. So this is gonna be head smash, isn't it? I think Avalug's gotta be the one to take it. Um, I mean, uh, head smash is still gonna do like crazy damage to us, even if we're very physical. I don't think Arcanine can afford to come in. Again. They go for Flare Blitz. Okay. Doesn't do a crazy amount. We are going to just recover. Um... I think that's the right play. Um, there's a chance they switch this out and... Oh, they go ahead, smash. Okay. Oof. That might kill them. No, they're still alive. Okay. Yeah. I Again, I think the play is just for me to click recover again. Um... I think Avalog, like, so this doesn't do anything for, like, Avalog's stats during the season. Um, but it does, I think, put us in a better chance to win the battle. Um, so the only thing they have to think about right now is if they want to keep this for a switch later. Because, theoretically, they could switch... into this for a sack at some point if they need it to get a preferable matchup. Um, they're going to go Morning Sun, so they're going to get some HP back themselves. Okay, now we're going to go for the Rapid Spins. Which is not going to do a lot of damage. I hope you enjoy seeing um, my Avalon click rapid spin over and over again. Because <laughs> Mountain Gale's not going to do a lot of damage against Biscuits, I don't think. So I think we just keep letting Avila get faster. Um, this this can get to the point where I... Need to start calcing, like... How, like, fast Avila gets with... Being plus four, you know? Um, I'm gonna click recover again. Head smash again.
it's still not that fast. <laughs> They're gonna be faster with the agility, of course. Um, They're going to Morning Sun again. I don't know how many Morning Suns they're going to get. How, how many... They get five, apparently. So... We're one away from being... Max speed. I want to click the Mountain Gale one time. Because, like, they missed the head smash. Okay. They're going to go for head smash again and we click recover. They go Morning Sun, so we're going to <laughs> recover. This is the dance of the stalls. I don't know how many more morning... I should have counted how many morning suns they had used. Um, They have at least one more morning sun left. Um, they might beat us in this matchup here. Because we only have one recovery left. Um, they might be out of head smashes now. We just have to go rapid spin. So I just am curious how fast a plus six Avalug is. We're pretty fast. Um We have one recover left, we're gonna save it. Um, so they had a morning sun left. I could be wrong, and they have more than five morning suns available to them. Um, do I burn this? This is like a time where I really wish that I was paying attention and knew how many morning suns they had used. It's because Rune used Recover. I'm going to have to hope that that was the last Morning Sun. Um, because Avalog cannot recover anymore after this. Um, so if they have a Morning Sun left, I think they've officially beat Avalog in the stall battle. But Avalog, now, if we win this battle, they did have a Morning Sun left. So they're definitely going to win the Saul battle. So that would have to be Morning Sun 5, I think. Because it is also dawning on me that if we can't kill the Arcanine with Avalug, I think we just lose. Mm. 
There's no way that was only four Morning Suns. They do win that battle. How many head smashes do they get? Eight, probably. Yeah, so they definitely... You know what I'm doing? I'm looking on Smoggin, and I don't think that gives it to the max that it would be. Is it? So I definitely miscounted. They totally had eight of the Morning Suns. And they totally had eight rocks head smashes. That's what's going on here, isn't it? They might be actually out of... Wow, that did so much damage. We can't use Dark Pulse now. Um, so they have Kilowattro left, which I don't really have a great answer for. And they have Ting Lu left. And now they have four mons left still, don't they? I think we are in really bad shape. No, okay. Yeah, because it didn't hit, so I didn't know if we were granted something else. Um. I think we have to go Corv, which is, you know. Because they have minus one, minus two, minus three. They go for Stealth Rock. Um, we need our Stealth Rock to stay. I really think Corv is going to be important. So we're going to have to click Iron Head. You're going to have to hope for... Wow, that did zero damage. They go Whirlwind, and if this is Chiyu, it just dies. It was Chiyu. Wow. Florgress is really our only shot this thing, I think. Um, we're going to take some rocks damage. And then we have to click Moonblast. Um, and hope this does a crazy ton of damage. A crazy amount of damage is what we need. Because Tinglu's not very fast, right? Yeah, it's 40, base 45 speed. It's used multiple moves, so... Wow, that... Hmm. 
not great. We definitely can't kill this thing. So it's getting very confusing in my head right now, but I think you turning into Florgris is the correct play. Because if they don't KO here, We get the wish back on Florus here. They go for ruination, so they're not going to kill. They're going to hit us to half of what we currently have, and the wish does come off. Um, and it makes me think that. I, I'm trying to figure out what moves this thing has. That it, it's not clicking. Click Moonblast again. Okay. They're going to Ruination again. I'm so curious to find out what this set is. Um, or is this just trying to damage me enough that Kill a Washroll can kill it? That's gotta be what's going on, huh? They have Rumination again. Okay. So if they do it again, okay, we, I don't think we can kill here. If we were able to kill this Moonblast, it'd be so epic. No, we can't. They go Whirlwind, okay. Um, Cause we need Forgress at good HP to deal with um, Kill Watchroll. Um, So how do we do this? We have to hope that This doesn't have like an attack and move, and it only can go for ruination, because ruination can never actually kill. So I am worried it has like seismic toss or something, and technically it, c it would kill right now. I think that's how we lose, is if this is seismic toss. It's Earthquake. Do they kill now? They do. They had Earthquake that entire time? Like, why? Why wouldn't they have clicked it so much earlier? I just don't think I understand.
Should've clipped Iron Head. Yeah, so we're gonna lose 3-0, I think. Um... Yeah, because they have Pheasantipity left, and they also have Killwashel. And I can't do anything as Kill. Gotta hope that Iron Head can kill it. And we live a T Bolt. If Iron Head doesn't kill, we lose, we lose. We're gonna lose. So we're gonna lose 2 0 here. Um, unfortunate. I uh, made some really bad plays in that game. Yeah, and that's what's going to come down to. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time.